Hello, hello. It is Tiffany from the Everyday Monet popping on real quick. Uh, I wasn't going to come on tonight, but I decided, what the heck. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember the password for this iPad. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to have music tonight. All right, so I'm going to do a quick porch liner. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this black on here. Maybe get a little, a little bit more going here. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I'm uh, listening to it rain here. We're under storm warnings. but Up here where we're at, that's not really that unusual. We're up in North Texas, by the Texas-Oklahoma border. We get a lot of nasty weather in the spring. Be honest with you, it's been kind of nice. It hasn't been too bad this year. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more on here. Let me put on an apron real quick before I wear all of this. Pop on, let me know where you're from. I have one more state. I have one state left before I do my big giveaway. Just one more. Anyway, like I said, my name is Tiffany, and I'm glad you're here. There we go. All righty. So we're going to do a spring porch cleaner tonight. I know it doesn't look like it with this black, but we're going to go ahead and put some black on here and let it dry for a second. I know everybody's liking the flamingos right now, so we're going to jump on the flamingo train, and we're going to... Get us a flamingo porch liner. Let me know in the comments if you like the flamingos. Okay, so the board I'm using is a six foot. So what I usually do is I go ahead and paint the entire board and then I cut off about a foot of it so that it's not so overpowering on some of the smaller homes. Now, if they're requested specifically, of course, I'd leave it, but most of them, they're, they're not. All right. I'm not putting this on there too thick, because I want it to dry pretty quickly. All right, now I am going to get a little bit of water. There's some down here that I'd like to smooth out a little bit. Hope everybody had a great start of the week. Now, if you are local uh, and you are looking for something to do, I will be at the Deli Planet on the first and third Monday of every month. And then I will be at Wichita Falls Brewing Company on the first and third Tuesday of every month. So I'll hop on down there and uh, say hello. Stop in. Both of them are cute little venues. But, you know, take a peek. I also have a summer camp that we just uh, opened up today. It will be the first week of June. I've got nine slots left in the morning and ten slots left in the afternoon, or the second slot. Love to have you there down there with us. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let this dry just a second. I'm going to fan this. I'd turn on my big fan, but then you wouldn't be able to hear me. Let's see. Hey, Brandy. Brandy is from Florida. And as military spouses, we met in Delaware. So, you know, small world. Gets bigger when you're in the military. All right, so we're going to put welcome on here, but before we do that, we are going to. Well, that's my friends. Actually, we're going to put hello there. Okay, that's what we're going to use the essential stencil. Oh, hello there. But we're going to go ahead, let me go ahead and get all the paints ready. I will be doing the flamingos on here. 
because I like the flamingos and it seems like everybody else likes them right now too. So that's what we're gonna do. And let me get a little bit of this bright right here. Yeah, a little chartreuse can't hurt anybody. All right, let me go ahead and grab my fan. I'll put it on low so, or turn it on low so everybody doesn't have to listen to it, but it'll help me dry out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a half inch brush here. Let's see. And do I have a spot that's dry yet? No, I do not. We're gonna go ahead and try it down here. I think I'm probably gonna wish I hadn't, but you know, okay. Let's go ahead right about here. Okay, and I'm gonna just try, kind of tracing me out some leaves here. Alright, as you hop on, because I'm having problems seeing the comments right now, as you hop on, or as you see the replay, go ahead and let me know what state you're from. I have a contest going on, and when I hit uh, all 50 states and the provinces, I'm going to do a big, huge give out, giveaway. Okay, so go ahead, let me know where you're from. I'm not telling you which states I'm missing, but I'm just, I'm down to one. All right. I will give you a hint though. I have been to this particular state. All right. Make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, like I said, right here, I'm just kind of tracing this out get the feel of it. Okay. There we go. All right, and let me go ahead and get one. Let's see, I'm gonna put one right here too. Now, we will be doing a virtual paint party. It is a free virtual paint party. Uh, check the events tab on the Everyday Monet uh, website because I'll be honest with you, off the top of my head, I can't remember the exact date of that. And I don't want to give you bad information. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some on here. This black is still wet. So it's not going to be as successful at the moment as it would be if this was already dry. But that's okay. We're going to keep moving along. And if you would, uh, Brady, in the comments, if you would put the name of your business and maybe a link so that if anybody wants to go check it out, they can. I love to see small businesses succeed. So if, if that's something you want to do, Brandy, go right on ahead. I appreciate that. And guys, if you're looking for small business with integrity, I can promise you, Brandy, you'll be your girl. So go ahead, take a minute, check her out if she posts. I can't see right now the... Uh, Facebook's being a weenie right now and I can't really see. All right, like I said, I am just putting a, a thin coat on these right now just to get some color down. Let this dry. Because it is so thin, it'll dry pretty quickly. All right. And this will end up being a five foot porch linger. The porch that this one will be on is rather small, so we're not gonna make it too cumbersome. There we go. 
you know, if it was like for a huge front porch that had a very elegant entryway, by all means make it that six foot. But for the porch where this is going, the front porch is, you know, I'm going to say pretty typical. So no need in making it gargantuan. All right, let me get some more here. I'm just mixing these greens. There's not really a rhyme or reason of the colors I'm using other than I want this, you know, the leaves on here. Go ahead and get this right here. Now, I'm sorry if you're commenting. I can't see anything right now. Facebook's been kind of wonky for me on lives lately, so. There we go. Get that just a little bit late in there. Don't worry. It's not going to look like this when it's done. I'm just laying the foundation here so I know where all my colors are going to go. Alrighty. Okay, guys, I got a, a joke for you. My son told me a joke. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but preteens should not tell jokes. They're crazy. Anyway, so the first, it's about three cats. So these cats get to heaven, and God tells the one cat, so, you know, what do you, what do you think? Do you think you've been a good guy? He said, yeah. Yes, sir, I've been really good. He says, all right. You're in. Looks at the cat, second cat, and he said, sir, I was obedient. I was kind and loving, and I did everything my master wanted me to do. God says, all right, you're in. So he looks at the third cat and says, what about you? The cat squares him up, looks him up and down and says, get up, you're in my seat. Okay, those of you who have cats, you know that's just a cat. They don't care about you, they just care about if they're happy. All right, here we go. So we have this on here. I'm going to go back down here. Start on this end. Get all the color, the darker colors, laid in so that it'll dry just a little bit. I don't want it completely dry so that I can uh, mix the colors. It's much easier to mix if they are not completely dry. You want it somewhat, but not complete. Let me know in the comments if this is your first time here. Uh, if it is, welcome to the Everyday Monet. I am Tiffany. I'm the owner of Everyday Monet. If you're local, I'd love to see you at some of the uh, live venues we have. If you're looking for a uh, artist to do a paint party, you have a fundraiser, or you need a girls night, or uh, you know, I like to do the mom and me's. Those are probably my favorites because you get to see a lot of fun between moms and their kids. And I'm, I like that. All right, let's go back over this one a little bit. Need some more green. Use this darker green. Now, like I said, this is going to be a flamingo porch liner. I did it with the black so that it would pop a little bit more. This The pink on the flamingo really stands out. So let me show you the one that it's similar to. So this is the flamingo that's going to go on here. But he will be pretty big here. So there you go. Alright, here lost my place where I was, but figured it out. Okay. There we go. Uh, in the comments, let me know if you've ever done a paint party and if you've done them in person or online. How have you done them? 
And if you have not done one, why haven't you? They're a lot of fun. And the nice thing is, is that, you know, we walk you step by step. You can't mess it up. It is just impossible. And I'll let you in on a little secret that if you've never been, you don't know. When we show up at a paint party, we're not going to give you a blank canvas. We're going to show up and we're going to have something like this. Now, this is a child's art kit, but it is going to be already stenciled. So it's not like you have to go in there and create this thing from scratch. You are welcome to do that if you choose. But we know a lot of people, you know, they, they're scared of it. Or they just, they want to just relax and enjoy themselves. They don't want to have to do the work part of it. So we do that for you. Alright. Here we go. I always take a few canvases that are naked. So that in case somebody wants to brave it, there we go, we have it. We always have one or two that are afraid to start, so I, you know, let them know. We've got backups. If you get it so far gone that you can't bring it back, which is pretty much impossible, really, we've got you covered. All right. So... If you are not on our mailing list, please uh, message me if you would like to be. Or you could go on to uh, the everydaymonet.com. Scroll down to the bottom and you can uh, put your email address and info in there. And I don't, trust me, I'm not going to spam you. I may message you maybe once a week. Usually it's like once or twice a month. And that, it's usually just like coupons or information on free paint parties, coupons to uh, the website, for the store, that kind of stuff. And please check us out on Facebook. I love to do giveaways. I'm always giving something away. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this brush and I'm going to squeeze as much paint off the side as I can. And I'm going to throw it right down here. Actually, I'm going to add just a tad bit of black so that it's a little bit darker than the rest of it. There we go. And I really mean just a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to go right down to the middle here. And just give it a, just a little center there. Oh, let me get a little bit of that paint off of there. Okay. And don't worry, we will go back, give it some highlights and such. There we go. Because that's a little bit wider than I wanted it. So we're going to... Give it just a few highlights here and there. But this is just getting the base color on there, kind of laying the land, the land of it. There we go. All right. Blow dry this for just a second. I get the next step ready. I am going to do something a little different down here at the bottom. And I may not like it, and if I don't, I'll paint over it. But I want to put a little sand down there, just because I can. But while I'm waiting on all that to dry, let me go ahead and get me, I think, I'm going to use Royal Fuchsia. And let's see. I don't know, do I want, I think I'm going to do a hot pink hibiscus instead. I was going to do the red, but I'll do the hot pink. And here it is. Pink here too. Here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to take just a little bit. I've got an angled brush here. And I think I'm going to put one right here. 
All right, so I'm just gonna make me a little U here. No, oh, he's too big. I don't like him. All right, here we go. Make me my little U shape here. And then just go back. There we go. Just laying this in here. It's going to go back behind that one. That leaf right there. Come back around here. There we go. Alright. Better now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put some color in these real quick. So if you've been around here a while, let me know some ideas of things you would like to see painted or that you would like for a tutorial. And once I get off, I'll be able to see a little bit better. Let me see if I can see anything right now. Let's see, do you stencil canvas painting packs we can order? Yes, I do. Um, I have, about 30 children's done right now, but I also have adult kits, uh, depending on what you're looking for, Brandy, I can almost always make it happen. I don't have any of the adult kits on the website right now, but uh, this coming weekend, on Sunday, I'll be back home, and uh, I have five adult kits that need to be made so I can get some more of those done. Do you have something in mind that you would like to paint? Alright, so I'm just going to put this in here. Go very carefully up here by this flower, or by the leaf. I'm not going to go too close yet because I am going to Okay, let me get this other pretend. There we go. And go back down this way. All right. Let's see. Hi, hey, Aunt Pam. My aunt's on as well. All right. So I'm just putting the top or the bottom layer on here so it can get placement. Okay, here we go. And like I said, if you are local, the first and third uh, Monday of every month, I will be at Deli Planet teaching paint parties. On the first and uh, third Tuesday of every month, I'll be down at Wichita Falls Brewing Company. And we will be doing a new painting every week. So if you'll just watch my website, you'll be able to see what it is. And if you want to sign up, go for it. If you want to book a party, just uh, message me and we'll look at the calendar and get it all figured out. Okay, like I said, don't get work, don't get all upset and worked up when your painting first starts. It will not look good when you first start. But get all the paint on there, get your placement, you'll be okay. And remember, Everyday Monet does fun art, not fun art. I'm not here about stressful art. I'm here for fun art. Okay. Go ahead and get this all painted out right through here. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead, while it's wet, get a little bit of the Royal Fuchsia. Don't want a lot, just a Enough to keep it going in there. There we go. Just take it on down through there. Work it out a little bit. There we 
go. Okay, go down here while this one's nice and mushy here. I want to get it while it's still easy to do. Okay. So make sure as you hop on, uh, you let me know where you're from, what state you are from. I'm looking for one particular state until we do the big giveaway. Just need one more state. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and make my little dingleberry here. I don't know what it's called, so I'm just going to call it a dingleberry. Just kind of comes right out through here. Okay. Let me know if you can, well, try to let me know if you can hear me. With this fan going, I've got the fan going so it will dry a little bit faster so we can do the whole thing at once. more of the darker pink right here need some more so if I don't answer you right away uh, I'm I have to keep swiping my uh, phone over to get the comments Facebook's being special All righty. so I'm not ignoring you guys and I can check all of them afterwards. There we go. All right. Woo! Goodness, got a little heavy handed with the hot paint there. All right, a little bit more on this one right here. Those of you who have stopped in, I really appreciate it. The more people stop in, the more Facebook will show what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to get just the end of this. Real technical here. And no, we're not done with that, but we're going to let that part sit for a second. Now, I need the flamingo. Let me get my picture of my flamingo. All right, so again, this is the flamingo we're going to put on here. Let's see. I have to run to get kiddo. I'm going to what we watch. Okay. Well, Brandy, I appreciate you stopping through. It was good seeing you, girl. Okay, so here we go. Let me get a thin brush here. This one's pretty thin. Hopefully, oh, hopefully, let me try a different one. That one wants to come put on me. Let's try this one here. All right, so for my flamingo, let's see, come up through here. All right, I'm going to start him right here. This green is still wet, so I'm going to skip over the green for right now. No, over any part that's wet, anyway. <laughs> so we're going him down through here. Then we're going to go here and then out. Okay. So we're going to throw him right down through here. And give him some little cute butt feathers. back up here. Alright. Turn down this way. That's wet right there, so we're going to skip. 
scoop over it to here to here. Well, yep, still went out to there. There we go. All right, so we're gonna bring them all out through here. So there's placement. We'll get these little cuties right here. All right, you get a, a thicker brush, and let's get all this. Let's get some paint on. Okay, so we we'll start right up here. And again, this is just the bottom layer. This is not the final product. We're just getting some placement. Oops, got some green. This is the wild, wild pink that we're putting on the bottom. And we'll go back in and give her all her highlights. I'm assuming it's a girl. It is today. We'll, we're going to call her Flo. My son was calling her Flo earlier, so we're working on Flo Flamingo. Alright, oops, there's a big wet spot of pink right there, or the green, so we're going to avoid it for the moment. I'm going to avoid it so that it doesn't get muddy right through there. It's great if it's still wet if you're wanting the colors to mix, but these I do not want to mix. Okay. Put that on down through here. If you have kiddos in the local area and you're looking for them something to do the first week of June, I have, I'll be doing an art camp at Healthy's downtown in Wichita Falls. Uh, Tuesday, June 2nd, or June 1st, till Friday. I'm doing two sessions. It'll be one from 8 to 10, and the second session will be 10.30 to 12.30. So if you need more information on that, just you know, put in the comments below Art Camp, and I'll get you some more information. Or you can go onto the Everyday Monet Facebook site, check out the events, and you can see everything that's going on that we've put on the books right now. We will be updating later this evening because we have about seven or eight other uh, events coming up that we have not put on there. We've Kind of holding out and getting some more information for you before we put it on there. Okay. Get this down from here, even now. Green. So, if I wasn't painting this live, I would go ahead and blow dry this right now so that it, you know, I wouldn't play it in the mud. But, since we're trying to get this done, go ahead and go on through. Alright, get a little bit more right through here. There we go. And green. Right here, it's just got a lot of green. We're going to leave it alone, not agitate it. We're going to let it go for a second while we go ahead and go in with some larger or uh, darker pinks. Okay, we're going to go on down here in the tail feathers, just work some little details in. Thank you for anyone that stops in tonight. Uh, I will be checking messages after I'm done here. If you would like, share, uh, follow, I'd appreciate it. Facebook only shows 
a small percentage, and I mean small, like uh, one stat said 7%, one said 5%, another said 1% of your viewers get to see or get any notification of what you're doing. So, thank you. I appreciate it. anybody who shares, likes, joins. It really helps me out. All right, so I'm just going down through here, giving a few little feather strokes down through here. It's not really doing a whole lot of good at the moment because everything is still so wet. Let me put a fan over here, help it out a little bit. So up here, it's a little bit thinner. I'm going to go ahead and give her a little bit of dimension. Give her some more pink in here. remember this is not a realistic flamingo this is going to be a fun flamingo so it, it's okay if you want your flamingo to have a couple of purple feathers in there stick them in there it's your flamingo if somebody else doesn't like it they can go stick it in their flamingo so. it's art don't let somebody else tell you how to do it and it's fun Again, if you're just stopping by for the first time, welcome, welcome, and I'm glad you're here. My name is Tiffany, and I am the owner of the Everyday Monet. Appreciate you being here. Okay, so I've got to work this area a little bit better because it's still real wet, so I'm going to leave it alone, not bother it while it dries a little bit. I am going to go ahead and get some feathers up right up in here. Gonna mix the light and the dark pink to get a mid shade. Right. Oop, and that just got the green. All right, we're gonna leave her alone just for a second right there while she dries some. While we go ahead and give her her beak. All right, so we're gonna come down right through here. Here we go. Right. Go ahead and see this lighter pink. She has a very rugged jawline for a female flamingo. All right, and I'm going to go ahead because it's on a black canvas. I'm going to paint the whole thing pink, and then I'll go back in with the black. There we go. All right, Flo, you look much better. All right. I'm going to go back up here while that dries a second so that I can get some more. And uh, grab this chair here so I can lean down here and get this little section. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Awesome. Here we go. Okay. Put this up to here. Now let me grab this one inch here. Just get this in. Okay, go back 
in here. Get this all down through here. So I'll put on the base layer earlier just to kind of get my placement. And now I'm just going back in, getting things a little brighter. There we go. out. I'm at a wonky angle here, so let me try to get this okay. Alright. So we got that down through there. Okay, this is supposed to make some more of this darker or the lighter pink. A little bit of the darker. There we go. Go back down to here and get this little fella a little bit better. Don't want it to look so so sad. All right, now I'm gonna take this, kind of go around it just a little bit. Just to make those edges nice and crisp. There we go. So if you've just hopped on, I'm not able to see the uh, comments consistently. They'll be there for a second and they'll be gone. So if you, as you come on, please put your state that you identify with whether it's where you live now, whether you were born. I am down to one state before the giveaway. I'm trying to get someone alive from every state and province, and then I'm gonna do another big giveaway. So let me know what state you identify with. Okay, now let's go back down here on the flow. I think she's bright enough that I can get in here with this one inch brush for a second. Give her a little bit of love now. Some, that green just does not want to dry. Okay. Yep, love's green over here does not want to dry. We're going to get a little bit more love here, kind of thin it out some so that it'll hopefully dry sometime this week. Okay. All right, Flo, we'll come back to you. Okay, so let's go ahead, get close some legs down here. Um, actually, first we're going to get the sand down here, okay? Gonna do it a little bit unorthodox, but that's okay. You know me, you know that's just me. And let's see, let's go with a little bit of brown here. I want a little bit of beach scene on here. Not a lot, but just enough to make a beach scene. a little bit of beach. And again, if I don't like it, I'll just paint back over it. But I just, I want a little beach on there. I don't want 
poor Flo just hanging out nowhere. Alright, so we're going to get her up there. Set that down. Let's get some, let's see, Bahama Blue and a little Atlantis. Again, if I don't like it, I'll just paint over the top of it. It's not that big of a deal. And let me get a little bit of white. So let me know if you've ever been to a paint party. You know, what did you paint? What did you like? What did you not like? Let me know, was it a, uh, a paint party on canvas, or was it like a porch cleaner, or a, uh, door hanger, there we go, I knew there was a word for it, just let me know down there. And how many of you are afraid to paint? Now, I will tell you, for paint parties, they are step-by-step, step. and we come in, and let me show you. We have our canvases already sketched. So this is a child's kit that I do. We go in, they're already pre-sketched. Now, for the adults, you have the option not to have a sketched canvas. That's totally up to you. Now, it's... Nobody can choose that but you. You make that choice. Okay. All right, right here. I'm going to give a little white cap. Just, just a little bit. And that was a little bit more than I wanted, so I can just go back in with the blue. Okay. Now for right at the ocean line, Let's see, what is that? Island blue? Nope, I want a darker blue. I'm going to go in with a navy blue, but don't worry, it's not going to be like, woo, navy. I see just a tiny, itty bitty bit of navy. And I'm just barely going to dip the tip of the brush in it. And I'm just going to go back and forth right here. Dip it again. Now, I want to get a little bit of this green here. Not a lot, just, again, e even less green than I put of the navy blue. There we go. See, just, I mean, it's such a tiny amount. All right. And I'm going to put just a dot right there. And some right in here. I'm going to get the blue again. And just go back over. Because I want just a little bit of that green in there, you know, that you get from the ocean. It for the See, just a tiny bit, wasn't very much. Now let's go and give Flo some legs so she can stand on this beach. Alright, and normally I would give her black legs, but because we are on a black canvas, it wouldn't show. So, I'm going to go ahead and give her pink legs. 
close the back ones when we come down. And we're going to wait to finish that leg there so that it doesn't just smear in that water. She's going to sit there for a minute. Now this part is fine to go back through now. It's finally dried. So I'm just going to go back through. I've got several pinks on here. I'm going to give her some feathers. And just remember, if you paint something and you're not just crazy in love with it, wait. Look at it the next day, and you may love it. If you don't, paint over it. It's okay. But chances are you will appreciate it a lot more once it's dry. I don't know if it's because, hey, I made that, or, you know, I, I don't know why it is, but I've always found that if I just wait, I usually end up loving it the next day. Or at least I'm happy with it. I may not love, love it, but usually I'll. Okay, well. That's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight. My crew is at Scouts tonight, so I usually take this to be my paint night, my ketchup on TV night. Oh, I did it again. Okay. This green doesn't want to dry, so we're going to leave her alone right there. And go ahead and move to her tail feathers. And you have to remember, and I'm learning this as we go, I usually don't paint hot pink or pinks of this black. But I'm going to have to go back in and make the pink just a little bit thicker to cover that black and the green out there. Okay. So we're going to back up here, cover it just a little bit more. See, I like that because the hot pink is popping through there and it's also giving it uh, a little dimension. It's not, I mean, it looks like feathers. And that's good. All right, we're gonna let her dry just a second. We're gonna go back in while we're waiting. That's dirty water. And work on the green a little bit more now that it's, the top is dry. Let's see. Hey, Paula. Can't see the other end. That end down there? There we go. Okay, hopefully that'll work right there. All right, so let's go back up here and work on these greens a little bit more. There we go. And it's probably sitting right in front of me and I don't see the darker green. I don't see it. So we're gonna go ahead, oh, right there. Yes, black forest green. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with these here. So we're making a porch leaner to kind of go with this one. Let's see, there we go. Sort of go, but not really go. I just like the flamingo right now. It's pretty fun. All right. Go back in here. I usually don't paint pastels over the uh, black, so I'm learning my lesson tonight with that pink. Okay, there we go. 
So Facebook's been really wonky. I can see comments for a minute, then I don't see comments. I'll get the little ding, somebody's there, but then there's nobody there. So I'm not really sure what's going on. So if you've commented and I've ignored you, I wasn't ignoring you. I apologize. There we go. This one here. Uh, again, I apologize for the fan being on, but I'm trying to do this all in one sitting, which means I have to have that uh, fan on to dry it before I can move on to the next one. Even though that flamingo down there at the bottom, that green does not want to dry on it. So I'm having a fit trying to get it covered. It just keeps painting with me. All right. So let me get a little bit of the chartreuse again. And I'm just gonna put just a tiny, tiny bit right down through here. Just, I don't want a lot. A little bit more than that, evidently. Okay, yeah, that's too much. There we go. Go ahead and right down through here. So if you are local and you need something to do on the first and third Tuesday of the month, uh, you can find me at uh, Wichita Falls Brewery. If you have free Mondays, I will be at Deli Planet on the first and third Mondays of the month. If you're looking for something to do during the day for your kiddos, we have uh, opened up registration today for a four-day paint party art camp that will be located at Healthy's downtown Wichita Falls. I'd love to have you there. It's for kids nine and up. There'll be a morning session from, well, they're both mornings, but from eight to ten. Whew, Sorry, I don't, I'm not a morning person, but no. Then uh, 10.30 to 12.30. And the kids will finish the camp on Friday. They will have four paintings completed. And some new skills they've learned. So I'm really excited. But it will be oops, excuse me, at Healthies downtown. That's the name of it, not location, but it is downtown. Uh, Carrie is gracious enough to let me use her restaurant. I'm really excited about it. So if you uh, go to Healthy's, oops, oops, oops. There you go. Anyway, if you stop by Healthy's, uh, just let her know that Tiffany said, hey, we are uh, all about supporting each other and supporting small businesses. If you have a small business, please put your links in the comments below. I like to support other small businesses, so if, if somebody comes on, maybe they'll, they're will they looking for something that you might have. Alright. Let's see more of this. Let's go with this green here. There we go. Just drop your link to your website, or your Facebook page, your store, whatever it is. And uh, that's something I like to, to be able to do for other small business owners. Hopefully it'll send somebody you know, through to your store. Remember to let me know what state you're from. I need one more, one more state, and then we will be done with this con or done with the contest, and I will be able to start my giveaway. 
in one more state. You can put the state you were born, you can put the state where you live now, but it has to be, and you can mess, private message me if you, you know, don't feel like that's something you want out on the internet, that's fine too. I bet my big old behind in front of this fan is not helping that flamingo. A little bit more of this green through there. There we go. And a little bit right through here. hard time with the lighting seeing this one. There we go. Okay. Let's get down here to this one. I really almost hate to put anything on this one because this one's the booger that's killing me with drying. I think I got a little bit too heavy handed. She's not really enjoying me too much right now. Let's see. There we go. Also, if you are local uh, to Wichita Falls, Burkinette area, and you have a young lady that's looking for a Girl Scout troop, let me know. I can pick you up. Especially if, if you're a homeschooler. There we go. Now this is where it gets a little hairy, trying to get right around this pink without getting in the pink. You never realize how bad your hands shake till you try to go up right next to a light color. dry for a minute before we go back through. I had a tiny little brush and I bet you that's it right there. Sure is. I need to go through. I need some black here. I just had a, there it is. Big old lot of paper towels. Let's see. So you can't see the other end. Okay. I see that just popped up like it, oh no! This is why you don't set your stuff down. Some people never learn. I'm some people. All right. So I'm gonna go right in here with this black. I'm going to give him this little eyeball here. 
actually, you don't kind of cheat with that eyeball. Let me find the black here. Well, okay. That's why you close your paints up. All right. Just kind of use the end of this right here and give Mr. Flamingo an eyeball right there. Perfect. And I'll let that dry and I'll go back in with the highlighting. But for now, that looks good right there. All right, tiny brush again. Can we go back over there yet? No, not yet. All right, but we can go ahead, put a little bit of seagrass down here this brush. Tiny bit of black up right through there. Alright, and so this board will be cut off right down through here. So you won't see, you know, all this down here when, you're, when it's done. But, alright, so let's go ahead. Okay, I think we're safe-ish. Let's go ahead and get this stuff up here done, because this up here is pretty much dry compared to the uh, flamingo. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, I make a mess when I paint. I think I use dang near every brush I have every time I paint. Let's go with brush right here. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to come through here. Remember, this is fun art, not fine art. And, you know, this is shouldn't stress you out. If it does, you're doing it wrong. It should be fun and relaxing, and you should feel some sense of accomplishment when you're done. Okay. It's not dark enough from there to there. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to go back in here with the black. Put just a little bit of outlining. 
and because it's on the black you're not going to see much of it but it's a good way to clean up any spots you're not happy with It's also a good way to get a lot of black paint on your arms. Yeah, I usually look like I've been mauled by a paintbrush at the end of the evening. All right. I'll just kind of go through anywhere you feel like you want a little bit more up to your painting. That is a technical word, by the way. Umph. I believe it meant the fixing up of one screw up or something like that. I'm sure it's French. Anyway, those of you who have come through tonight, thank you very much for stopping by. I've been getting ding-dongs left and right. Don't know if you're coming or if you're going. I'm hoping people are coming and sticking around for a little bit, but Facebook's being a little wonky, so I'm not really sure. So if you are interested in the free, I'm doing a free private party, check on the uh, Everyday Monet Events tab on Facebook. And if you will go to, if that's something you're interested in, just shoot me uh, your email address and I will email you all the information you need and the supply list. It will be the tracer, the supply list, it will be the whole shebang. And those on my email list now I don't, you know, I don't send out a crap ton of emails. Maybe once or twice a month. Here we go. Like I said, if I don't like how my beach ends up looking or how it, you know, comes together as a whole, I'll just paint over it. My painting, so I can. There we go. If you have any questions about a paint party or, uh, you know, doing a porch cleaner or anything like that, just shoot me a message. It might take me 24 hours to get back to you, but I'm usually, usually can get back that, that day. I am a mom and a momo, so you know, they, they do Trump business, but I uh, always try to make sure I get back to everybody pretty quick. Okay. I'm hoping by the time I get this leaf right here done, my flamingo will be dry enough to finish her up. I've said that like five times now, and she's proved me a liar every time. So, I'm hoping this will be the time that I actually get to you know, get her done. Get her done! And if my daughter Harley is on right now, I know she just died inside hearing me say that, but that's okay. Alrighty. 
I'm going to go right down this side right here. Okay, just flip the paint booger on the back. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I promise I don't, I don't talk to myself and nobody else is around. I promise I don't. But I don't know if anybody's here right now or not. I can't tell from Facebook. She's being very temperamental with me. Alright, so I'm just outlining these, just kind of cleaning up anywhere that I really don't like or anywhere that I think would, you know, need a little extra love. I'm just going to go back over the be just a little bit. I'm, I'm filming, but you're welcome to come in. Okay, so there's somebody that I can talk to without looking crazy. Uh, careful when you open the door, there's a door in there. Just okay, careful. Hi. Hey. I'm just saying, I'm dropping off the kiddo. Oh, she's pretty. Me or Flo? Both. Okay, well, Flo's drying right now so that we can get it done. She's so cute. We love her. We love a beachy vibe. Yes, we do. We do. She's feeling very beachy. Oh, this one's cute, too. Yeah, I'm going to fix this. I'm not real crazy about that. But what? check out the back side. Oh my, my back girl. side. Check out my <laughs> back side. <laughs> oh, Just welcome, kidding. friends. That's cute. Yep. You've been productive lately, Tiffany. Yes. Oh, no. But these weren't done today. This one's the only one I've done uh, tonight. Oh, I love your um, mason jar thing. Yeah, your filling of Yeah. We're so cute. Oh, you know. My goodness. Oh, I like him. He's a cutie. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, this is my daughter, Dakota. She is the last fruit of my womb. I don't know if they can see me or not. Yeah. Well, she's down here. <laughs> and uh, she is one of my big, biggest supporters. Well, you know, it's because I'm the best daughter. Okay, we humor her and just let her, <laughs> let her think all the things that oh, she no. needs to. Look at huh? you. You are just like, just get this, sister girl. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my oh, my goodness. You've been so busy. Yes, I have been busy. You need to, like, set, look how cute this is, everyone. Hold on. I'm trying not to get it wet. Look how cute he is. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> You haven't, oh, Lord, you haven't been sending me pictures. So this is my social media guru. She helps me out even when she thinks I'm posting naughty songs on TikTok. Okay, you didn't, like, I don't think you actually did it. No, I know I didn't do you it. You didn't do it on purpose, but no, it did. I did Sister not do it. girl, it happened, okay? Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, she comes over and she's like, Mom, stay off of TikTok. You're putting dirty songs on there. And I don't think those are the songs you want. I'm like, no, I didn't even put music on there. I'm not smart enough to know how to do that yet. This is like right when I first, you know, started TikToking. We learned together that um, TikTok sometimes automatically assigns music. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, quit yelling at me. I didn't do it. She's like, They're so cute. She's like, Mom, yes, you did. Oh you goodness. did. Look. And then so she plays it, and I'm like, oh. I think I got pregnant from the music. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was, it was bad. <laughs> and um, I'm like, I, I swear to you, I didn't. So we started playing with it and discovered that, yes, sometimes you don't put the music on there. They do. This is so precious. Oh, my goodness. Which one? Your little, hold on, let me. Hi, bud. And here is my middle one. Your son. welcome summer one. Look how cute that is. Little bees and stuff. So cute. My daughter Dakota and my son Grayson, 
Uh, I'll just be Dakota. Dakota. Her name is Dakota, but she doesn't like that. Excuse me. She prefers to go by the name... Dakota. Oh. Don't. <laughs> oh, I was going to tell them the truth, what you really like to be called. <laughs> I like to go by Coda or Bear. Don't even. She's Look lying, guys. That she is, is not her favorite name. Oh, my goodness. You haven't sent me these. You're fire. So these what are is so it? cute. She hadn't sent me this one. Look how cute she is. Well, hello, Spring. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, hey. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Also, this cute little one. Oh my goodness, how cute! So guys, She's adorable. I am very fortunate in that all my kids and my husband are super supportive of my uh, painting issues. Issues. It's a hobby and it's a business, and you're doing. Great. I love yeah, it. I'm gonna go home now. Love you. Have a good day. Thank you for yep. for bringing the turkey butt home. Yep, kiddo is home. Oh. Bye guys. I'll go watch the rest of your life. Okay. Uh, Anyway, that was my daughter, Dakota, like I was saying. She is 27. Y'all, I got too many kids, so don't be yet. She can know when her kids' birthdays are. I know when their birthdays are. I just can't keep track of how old everybody is, because then that tells me how old I am. And uh, I'm not ready for that. All right, so let's get a little bit of color on the flow here. Let's get her some love. She needs a little bit of love here. And I'm really liking how she's turning out. I'm not sure yet on, you know, the beachy down here. I may have made myself a bigger mess that I get to clean up, you know, and go back and paint over it. But like I said, I'm not doing anything until tomorrow. I never fix it or paint over anything that night unless, I mean, it's got to be a freaking train wreck for me to do that. Alright, so I'm just going back through it and go a little bit more. Alright. A little bit more, just get some feathers up in here. So my adult daughters all live here locally, so it's nice. I get to see all my kids except for my oldest son. I get to see them, you know, several times a week. It's nice. I see my oldest daughter every day. Um, so it's nice. I, it means a lot to me. Give her a few more hot pink feathers down through here. We want a lot of texture in here. We don't want a lot of flat spaces. And we want to kind of keep her brush kind of uh, flat just so it doesn't get it big. Right. And just so y'all know, after every live, I get the, hey buddy, <laughs> oh my goodness, hold on, stay right there, this, <laughs> oh my goodness, that is my middle son, Grayson. Just got home from Scouts and just scared me to death because I thought he was in there, you know, hanging out on the TV, but he's not. Yes, you may. Okay, I'm, I'm doing this right now, buddy. Thank you. Anyway. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you ever get that feeling somebody's watching you and then you find out, oh, it's because somebody is watching you? All right, so I'm going to give it just a few white strip or white feathers up in here. Not a lot, because that's not what I'm looking for, but I do want a little bit more variation. Okay. Now let me go up here and work on this face. 
I'm not pleased with how the face is working right now. I know it will be okay, it's just not okay at the moment. Okay. Remember, don't like it, paint over it. Okay. So I'm going to go down here and work on these legs a little bit. Make sure when you come on, if you would put the state you are from. Uh, it can be the state you were born in. It can be the state where you reside now. But I have a little contest going on. And it's, I need, there's one state I'm looking for. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. But there's one particular state I'm looking for. And then we're going to do a big giveaway. Alright, so put it on here and work on these legs a little bit. It's uh, Flo Flamingo's leg day at the gym. She needs just a little bit more love. Okay. And I usually don't paint standing up, leaning over, so this is a little bit more of a learning curve for me. And unfortunately, Flo's legs pay for my uh, discomfort. Alright. So let's go down here. And I'm not sure yet if I'm liking the water, if I am, I'm, I'm not real sure yet, we'll see. In the morning, I will let you know. Oh. I'm sure some bigger feet there. Okay, so we've got one in the water. Let's go ahead and put some ripples around the water there. Make sure my brush is sort of thing off. So I'm just going to take this white and kind of play with it right here. Okay. That was weird. Ha! Huh. Well, we've been having nasty weather all around us tonight. Let's see some of my blue from up here. Uh, like I said, we've been having some nasty weather, so... My little fan here is wanting to get out on me, so I'm wondering. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Not that much. Make sure I get all that out of there. There we go. Alright, so we're going to put a little bit of light around there. So now I'm going to go around flow, give her some black highlights. I'm going to scoot this over and to save her legs and my back, I'm going to sit down out here. All right. I'm just going to go around spots that I'm not real pleased with or spots that I think could use a little extra love. Go around those with a little bit of black. I'm not going to do a lot. There we go. Like I said, it was leg day for Flow at the gym, so we're going to help her just a little bit by fixing her up. Okay. Two tail feathers. So let me know in the comments, uh, have you been to a paint party before? If you have, did you like it? What was something that you took away from it? Did, is it something you would want to do again? I'm assuming if you're here, you're either my family or it's something that you enjoy or are interested in. So just let me know in the comments. All right, I'm just going to go right down through here. Also, if you are in the Wichita Falls area, I have uh, released today some openings for a summer paint party camp. It is for ages 9 and up. We will be hosting that at uh, Healthy's downtown Wichita Falls. It is a
beautiful little place. If you haven't ever been, stop by there. Give a little shout out to Carrie, the owner. Uh, let people know about that place. It's kind of a new place, and it's a, it's a diamond downtown. So go down there, check it out. Anyway, we'll be there the first week of June. It's the 1st through the 4th. I'll have two sessions. The first one starts at way too early, 8 a.m. I'm not a morning person, but I'm doing this. Uh, 8 to 10 is the first session. The second session will be from 10.30 until noon, or noon 30, until 12.30. Okay? And it's limited seating, so if you're interested, Go ahead and check out the events on the Everyday Monet. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up, text me, message me, however, carrier pigeon, whatever you need to do, and we'll get you in there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead, get a little white, go down through here. go ahead and go around the bottom of this. Yeah, give her just a little bit of extra love because she deserves it. She's had a rough day. We had a hard time getting her to dry so that we could paint her. The palm leaves underneath were not working so good. Alright, so we're going to give her some little extra under fluff here. Sometimes a girl just needs some extra fluffing, you know? And there. <laughs> oh, goodness, I don't know what's going on with the fan here. Because I'm not losing power anywhere else, so I don't know what it is. All right, well, now you can hear better. Okay, so let me go down here, work on these feet just a little bit. Help her legs out so you can see just how hard she worked today at the gym. There you go. All right, Flo, you got some styling old legs there, girl. Okay. So I've got her one leg in the water. Kind of like it. So we're not at the beach. We're at like a river, a creek, whatever you want to call that. All right. So I'm going to go back through here. Just give us a little bit more oomph. All right. I appreciate everybody that stopped by tonight. If you will, again, just leave the state you are currently living in. I'm not going to stalk you or come to your house. I just have a little contest going. Uh, I'm trying to get somebody from every state and province of the U.S. And then I'm going to do a big giveaway. All right. Let's see. Let me go up through here. I'm not liking that black down through there, so I'm going to go ahead and there we go. Give her just a little bit of love down through there. Okay. All right, this one right here. There we go. A little bit right through here. All right, now, up here, I set my paper down, so I've got to go back again and paint over that where I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just set my brush down. You know what? I'm not yet because I'm going to put the stencil down through there, and it may cover that right up. So I'm not going to add paint until I know that I need it. All right, so I'm going to put the hello there. What do y'all think? Oh, hello there? Yes, no? Or just, I could do a small welcome. I could do, what, what do we think? What are we thinking here, people? Let's see. Also watch, let's see, also I'm watching be on mute because I'm doing homework, but looks great. Mom. Well, thank you, Jack. Let's see. Coda's watching. Hi, Dina. D uh, Dana. 
Awesome. Okay. So what do y'all think? Do you think we should do the hello? Or should we leave it? What should we do here? All right. Let me get out this stencil and then we'll we'll decide right there. We'll just have us a little vote. So There's the O, and then we do, ooh, that's still wet right there, so I do H, let me, let me get these other black pieces put away here so I can kind of just hold my stencils. Okay, so this down through here is pretty dry, so I can set that right there for a second. All right, so... And then this would go down here on flow. So let's just place it like we're going to lay it down there. Let's just do it. We're just going to go for it. So O. And then H E. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I'm trying not to drag paint, if you're wondering. Yeah, so that's got wet paint on it right there, so I'm going to take that off. I'm trying to get these stencils to line up and be completely even. Okay. That's why I usually cheat and just put it straight down the uh, side. Just being honest here. All right. Yeah, it's, I think my O is a little cattywampus, so let's fix this. Okay. H-E. L-L. That goes over almost all of flow. Hmm. I think we'll be okay, though. I think we'll be okay. What do y'all think? Let's see. Oh, do the hello. That font will look great. Show the hello again. Okay. So we're going to go hello. How about that? So let's go ahead and just dive in. Why my fan cough? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to do the words in white so it'll show up nice and crisp. Okay, again, I'm going to use the Essential Stencils brushes. They're a natural bristle, so they really work nicely. I'm going to go ahead and pull this down through here. Again, make sure you put the state you are from. I'm waiting on one more state. Okay. So, I went ahead, got loaded my brush up, and I'm going to just do... Here we go. Let's see. Can you see that? Nope. Wrong way, right way. There we go. I think. Nope. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. So go ahead and get it so that the paint is about halfway or a quarter up the brushes and then take off the extra. You don't want any extra paint on there. You can go over it several times. Because it's such a small amount of paint, it dries extremely quick. But if you put too much on there, it will bleed under, up underneath and it won't give you the crisp lines that you want. go. If you would, go ahead and, oops, like and share this video. 
Facebook is stingy and doesn't want everybody to see all my wonderful greatness. Okay, they don't want us anybody's greatness, but anyway. Uh, only a small population get to see your videos. The more you share, the more people see it, and the more Facebook will continue to show it. So if you would, share, follow, send it by carrier pigeon, whatever you need to do to help me out. I appreciate it. Okay. So if you see how light this is, I'll go over it a couple of times and it'll be nice and bright by the time we're done. Again, I'm gonna offload so that it doesn't bleed. Essential stencils are a thick mylar material and they wash so nicely when they're done. You can use them and use them and use them and it's okay. All right, so right here I'm going over the green and you can see it's already given it good coverage, but I'm gonna go over it a few more times. I'll go all the way down and then this will be completely dry and I'll be able to go over it again without worrying about it getting muddy or smearing. So we'll be good. Now in between the stencils, you wanna be really careful when you get to the edge, like, like right through here. It can bleed through if you get crazy handed, so just pay attention to what you're doing and you'll be all good. Again, I appreciate y'all being here tonight. There we go. If you have uh, something that you would like to see, Friday nights are gonna be free for all Fridays. I'm not gonna decide what I'm painting until the last minute. And that will be from things that people send in, you know, hey, I'd like to see you paint a purple donkey. What, you know, whatever. Please don't ask me to paint a purple donkey. All right. And again, the coverage is really good going over these already just one time. But I will probably two or three times. Okay. Let me know if you have been Oops. Enjoying the nice weather at your location. I know we uh, had some beautiful weather and then it got cold again and then it got pretty again and now it's yuck again. So, all right, scooting on down here. Loading this brush up good. Offloading. Guys, I think this is going to look gorgeous. I wanted to do the flowers in a bright red or a uh, orange, but I was afraid it would clash too much. I think it's honestly, I think I'm having dreams of my Disney cruise. We had some shirts that had huge hibiscus on it, and it was, they were orange and yellow and black, so I think I'm just dreaming here. All right, so now I'm going over flow down here. You gotta be real careful because she's still damp in spots. And so I'm just being extremely cautious. And I'm gonna leave her right there. I'm gonna go back to the top, go over a second time. All right. I hear jingling out here. I don't know if it's a dog or a pig or a cat. We have two therapy pigs, Walt Pigsney and Lily, and they like to sneak out here any chance they get. 
Oops. All right. Oh, I think that's my dog. That sounds like a chunky beagle. Friday night, we have several new designs that are going to be debuted. So if you want to check those out, we'll be live here Friday evening, 6.30ish. Actually, it'll probably be earlier than that because I have a paint party in the Metroplex. So it'll probably be early. So just watch the Everyday Monet website or Facebook page, either one four times. Now, if y'all are wondering why I'm not putting my mug up here today, I don't have any makeup on, my hair's windblown, so y'all just gonna see my paintings today. You're not gonna see my loveliness. I think this is going to be beautiful. I need a little bit more white paint. Okay. Again, squish it up in there and then off of as much of it as you can. You don't want it bleeding, especially after you put in all the work to get it, you know, painted. That's the last thing you want is for it to bleed and ruin it. do three layers because it's not as dark as I want it. And that's okay. I don't mind a third layer. Let's see. There we go. You want to be real careful not to lift them up because getting them the stencils right back where you need them is not an easy task. It usually ends up poorly. All right, now we're going back to the top. All right, so Facebook is not letting me see comments again. It keeps going in and out. I'm getting dinged, so I don't know if someone's leaving or coming in. So if you're coming in, welcome. I'm Tiffany from the Everyday Monet. Glad you're here. And if that was somebody leaving, I'm just still saying glad you were here. All right. We're putting the third layer of white on here. I want us bright, 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 but I want it crisp, so being real careful not to make it bleed. That's my hope, anyway. So, underneath here is a flamingo scene that is similar to this one. So very similar to this, okay, but not exactly, just kind of similar. Flamingos are pretty hot right now. She's way cute. Her name is now Flo. So we're giving Flo a good show here. Okay, and you see right here, I got paint on my on the side of my board where I didn't want it. If you use a diaper wipe, it will come right off. And you won't even know it was there. Unless you do like I just did and smear it, and then everybody's gonna know it's there. Okay, there we go. All right, back to work. So 
So this is the third coat here. And I'm hoping that the third will be the charm. But because I have such bright colors underneath, I'm, I'm not real sure yet. All right. Now this is my first time doing a black porch leaner. I usually do them in earth tones or holiday, you know, colors, whatever, depending on the holiday that I'm working on. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. Okay. And I don't mind if you can see a little bit of the background behind it, but I do want it to be easily seen, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna set that on the chair because I'll end up sitting on white paint. All right. Go over there. And I'll be honest with you, I think I forgot to go over there the second time. Maybe I did. I feel pretty sure that I left her out. Ready? Cause we're gonna, we're gonna. Here we go. Hope for the best. If I say something ugly, I apologize in advance. All right. Oh. Okay. This is where I set it down a while ago, earlier. So that's that's on me. Oh, yes. Oh, I think she's gorgeous. Yes, I'm loving her. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead real quick. Where's my black? And I'm going to put a little bit. I already got my black out. Go. Let me just touch this up real quick. Oop, is that, is that the, nope, that's brown. There's the black over there. All right, we're just going to go with... Brand new, fresh black. Okay. Y'all, she's looking beautiful. Oh. She's amazing. All right, so let me get... Just touch over these real quick. Very carefully. Go over these. Do, do, do. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, I'm I'm loving her. All right, let me hold her up so you can see her. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. Y'all ready? And she is stuck back here to some paper. set her up here and then I will take the phone so that you can see her. What do you think? Well, there she is. Oh, hello there. I'm loving her. So there she is, start to finish. And I'm glad y'all were here tonight. Uh, I'm looking homeless over here, so I'm not going to show my face tonight. Appreciate all y'all. If you would share, like this page so that I can get this going. And uh, thank you for being with me tonight. Bye, guys.